what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After worldwide protests following the suffocation death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police, the French government banned chokeholds. Well, didn't take long for them to reverse that ruling because under pressure from the police, they rescinded. And now they're saying that chokeholds can now be used. Like their American counterparts, the French police love choking people. You can find evidence in their 2016 execution of Adama Traore. Also, in January of 2020, Cedric Chauviat, they will kill. And they're upset because they no longer, well, they can now, but they were upset that they couldn't use the chokehold and they basically cried like two-year-olds until the French government caved in. They say the reason why they love to use the chokehold is because they have these suspects who are sometimes irate and they're wild and aggressive. And the only way to stop them is to choke them. They're lying, fam. I've seen plenty of times where the police have choked people and didn't have to. They choke because they get a kick out of it. Just like when they body slam. They don't have to body slam people, but they do because they get a kick out of it. I know cops who haven't used their weapons in 30 years. Haven't fired on a suspect, not once. Now is that luck or good judgment? I would say it's the latter. There are too many dudes out here and women on the police forces all over the world who are totally unfit to be judging someone else, especially with the authority invested by the government to have a gun and to be allowed to use that gun at their discretion. It doesn't make any sense. Now check out what the French government said. They said that they're going to, they're going to stop teaching the chokehold method in schools, but they're going to allow the officers to use the chokehold at their discretion, of course, until they can find an alternative method of subduing suspects. There's already alternative methods. They don't like those methods because those methods preserve life. I'm telling you, fam, what they have out here is a whole bunch of uh, mercenaries and serial killers and thugs who sign up to be police officers so that they can get away with their crimes. Think about what I'm saying. If you got it in you to be a criminal, if you off, you got to, your elevator don't go all the way up. But you got to earn a living some kind of way, right? You know, even serial killers have jobs. So what better job to get than to be a police officer? You can break all the laws and your chance of ever being held accountable is slim to none even if they catch you on tape doing it, if they got a video of you doing it, that even if they got your own words where you're admitting that you were wrong, you can still walk. This is because these, these unions family are too strong. They need to dismantle those unions. The unions have more power than the mayors in these cities. The unions have too much power. 
They need to be dismantled. People need to stop being afraid of police officers quitting their jobs because they don't want to do their jobs. They're quitting. Think about what I'm saying, fam. They're quitting because they don't want to follow the rules. They're resigning because they don't want to not be able to choke people. And they don't want to be held accountable. That's the biggest part. They feel like, man, if I do that, if I do this, if I continue to behave like I've been behaving, I'm going to jail. I say, let their asses go. Recruit new ones. Look, they are becoming police officers inside of three months, six months. You can find a police officer anywhere. You can find somebody with some sense who got some damn compassion who has common sense and good judgment, you can find those people everywhere. You don't need maniacs on the police force just because they want to be police officers. You don't need to make them police officers. Most of them are not qualified. To every single officer that has thrown his handcuffs on the ground or resign because you don't like the idea that you don't get to just choke people out when you feel like it. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about?